push them to the net. They cannot find any lanes. Chiefs doing a good job keeping the dangerous players and the dangerous plays to the perimeter. There's Stromo a little open ice for Mitch in. He spun around and good job by Reed Gal blocking that shot. Another example of it right there. And here we go. It's Mitchin and Reed Gal. Jesse Mitchin on top of Gal and doesn't want to give it up as the linesmen come in. Our linesmen tonight, Jeremy Del Campo and Nathan Van Osten. And uh, Mitchin is red hot. Well, it looked, it, it looked to me like Reed Gal was the one that dropped his gloves first. As you can see, Mitchin's hitting the dirt there. He's not happy whatsoever. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I know for sure is Spokane is not going to like this trade. Even though Mitchin is an effective player for the Americans here, we're going to get a second chance at this here. Mitchin goes down, Gal's on top of him. Probably give him a little bit of elbow grease when no one is looking. Mitchin didn't like it one bit. Look at the way he just tries to punch your head off your shoulders. He's a big boy. This is a Mitch mismax for sure. But if there's one thing the Chiefs cannot afford is to lose their second best defenseman in Regal. They don't need him fighting Jesse Mission whatsoever, but good for him to have the courage and the fortitude to stand up for himself. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Mitchin a few weeks ago against Prince George, literally looked at a smaller